तो एक और करते हैं लेट्स लेट्स ट्राई दिस रिएक्शन ऑफ दिस सेइंग दैट के आई रिएक्ट्स विद के टू एस टू ओ एट यू हैव टू फिगर आउट व्हाट द रिएक्शन इज अच्छा दिस इज व्हाट वी गोइंग टू ट्राई एंड प्रिडिक्ट फर्स्ट थिंग व्हाट what are your reactants you got uh, you got k plus 1 and you've got i minus 1 so and then i have uh, k2 s2 o8 so that's k plus 1 and that's s2 o8 2 minus as iska thoda khayal rakhna ki uh, i mean you should you should be able to figure out i and k is always plus 1 right so s2 o8 2 which should be 2 minus over here as so these are my uh, Are my uh, reactants K plus one? So K plus one go. I just write it one time. Remove one of the K plus ones, right? And I'm going to I'm going to try and figure out uh, all the equations. Uh, K plus one I minus one is two O eight two minus. So if I open the data booklet which is here, I say it's me. So let's let's start with the K K samni over K plus one, right? So remember, we've got uh, we found k plus one. So yeah, that's over here. Uh, or count i minus one. I minus one is over here. And we need uh, s two o eight two minus, which probably is uh, that's the only place it is. That's it. I said so. We've got s two o eight. Two minus two point zero one volts, uh, and you've got Baki uh, here. I say you got K plus one minus point eight three and minus two point nine two. Now the lowest potential loses electrons, so the lowest at the moment is uh, is this one. You keep it, right? That's the that's the lowest, right? But I can't, I can't use that uh, because I don't have K. K is the one that's going to lose electrons, so that doesn't make sense. This time, I'm, I'm going to cut this out. You clear, Abhiab, Alicia, is this clear? Shyam, Masib, is this clear that I'm removing this one, right? That can't be the lowest one. As I, because I don't have K. I said, who's the lowest now? The lowest is this one. Uh, it's uh, not minus point eight three. Just a second, niche one. Eh? I said, so the lowest is. I said, so lowest is point uh, five four. I said, that's my lowest. And that makes sense. The lowest is going to lose electrons, and I do have I minus one, right? So that makes perfect sense. I minus one is the one that's losing electrons. Then who's gaining electrons? The one that has the highest potential, right? So the highest one is this one, two point zero one, and uh, is so that's the highest one, and that's the one that's going to gain electrons, and that's fine uh, because I do have S two at two minus. So I figured out I figured out the reactions. I had two equations, and let me just copy the two equations. I said so. I had two equations. Uh, the K plus one did not work out. The I minus one, ये वाली काम कर गया. I two plus two electrons uh, in equilibrium with two I minus one, and that's uh, what zero point five four volts. And the other one is S two O eight. Two minus plus two electrons, and that was two s four. And that was two point zero one volts. Uh, lowest uh, loses electrons, and the highest gains electrons. And I have both things. I have I minus one losing electrons and s two o eight gaining electrons. That's uh, so. That's And now using that, I can make the overall equation, which is going to be what? Okay. Add up the reactants. I said now I'm going. I'm. I'm not going to rewrite the equation. I'm just going to do it over here. What are my reactants? It's two i minus one. 
Petty equation with 2i minus 1, that's my reactant, right? The electrons are already balanced, gain and lost. S2O8, that's the reactant in the other equation. So add up your reactant. And we're going to add up the products. Uh, the products would be uh, first one where the product is I2, and the second one, the product is uh, SO2, SO4, 2 minus. Okay, that's your equation. And you can, that means K plus 1 is not doing anything. And uh, your E0 cell is going to be reduction potential minus oxidation potential, which is the difference 2.01 minus 0.54 which is going to give you 1.47 volts. TK clear? Yola. Is this clear? Yes or no? Aja, so uh, next one. Aja, let's say I want to do a uh, random. I'm just doing random stuff. Okay. So uh, remember, we can predict any reaction. So let's say I want uh, acidified uh, H2O2, and it's reacting with SO2, and I want to predict what the reaction is. So I've got as acidified means I've got H plus one as well. So I've got two reactants. I said, now remember H2O2 is a covalent uh, molecule and uh, and SO2 is a covalent molecule as well. Don't convert that into ions. They're not ions, okay? So, I mean, you can convert NaCl, you can treat NaCl as Na plus one and Cl minus one, but you can't convert, uh, you have to treat H2O2 as one thing. I said, so H2O2 and SO2, and remember it's acidified as well. So uh, it's come, so let's just second. As I said, so let's uh, uh, start with this one. I just use a as a starting with SO two. So we've got. I said, remember, water is fine. Uh, now here's a reaction where SO2 is with water. Remember, most of the stuff that you're doing is you're doing it with aqueous uh, things. So there's nothing wrong with this equation. Uh, I can even, I said, let me just copy this equation. Your SO2 will equation, I'll just copy it over here, just one second. And it's uh, SO4 minus two. And plus uh, four H plus one plus two electrons. And it's in equilibrium with uh, what uh, SO2 plus 2H2O. And the value is uh, 0.17 volts. That's the first one we found. As we found the SO2 equation. Or on the acidified H2O2. So H2O2, try and figure out the, here's one H2O2, right? So let's. Uh, so let's mark this one and let me just quickly copy it over here. Okay, it's uh, O2 plus what? Uh, 2H plus 1 plus 2 electrons. And uh, so in equilibrium with what? Uh, H2O2. And the value for this is 0 0.68 volts. So is there any other equation for H2O2 anywhere? Uh, uh, there's this one, you put what you get that's H2O2 plus. So let me just mark it over here. So I've got H2O2 and it's acidified. It's, it's got acid with it. So it, that's fine. H2O2 plus, uh, plus 2H plus 1 plus 2 electrons. And it's in equilibrium with the uh, 2H2O. And its potential is 1.77. I said, let's try and figure out uh, is there any other equation for I said, for H2O2? Uh, 
I guess um, no equations. I said no equations over here. Okay, each two or two. I guess I guess there are no other equations. So we'll go back to our board. I think I let the board update. So these are the these are the equations I just marked, right? So I marked I marked any equation that had uh, that had SO2 in it. And I marked any equation that had H2. It's two O two in it, right? I just have to make the first step. Check it out. I think uh, I, we missed some equation. I guess we we got all of them. So these are the equations. So who's the one that's going to gain electrons? So who's the who's got the highest potential? So the highest potential is is uh, the last one. Okay, yeah, that's that's my that's my highest potential. And that's the one that's going to gain electrons. So that is fine. There's nothing wrong with it uh, because I do have H2O2 and it's acidified as well. So I've got, I've got this acid over here as well. So that's fine. I figured out that I figured out who's going to gain electrons. And now I have to figure out who loses electrons. And that's going to be the first one, the lowest one. So that's my lowest one. And that's the one that's going to lose electrons. So that's fine. I've got both of them. Uh, water, Vesi by default, just remember you've got water everywhere. So, so count that in. And you have to make the overall equation. So instead of wasting time, just make the overall equation by uh, making sure the electrons are equal. The electrons are already equal. Was your first or third equation? The electrons are already equal. Add up the reactants. So the first reactant in the first equation that's uh, uh, that's SO two and two H two. So you got SO two plus two H two, and add up the reactants uh, in the second equation, which is H two O two plus two H plus one. So that one is. And you can uh, then write the products. What are the products? Actually, what are the products in the first one? It's uh, SO4. It's SO4 2 minus plus 4H plus 1. And in the product in the second one, that's plus 2H2O. And so now think of it as a math equation. You can remember if you've got things on both sides, they get cancelled out. Besides, case, mein, like if I make the overall equation, which I basically just added up the two half reactions, right? So what is going to get cancelled out? The water is going to get cancelled out, and two of the H plus ones will get cancelled out as well. The right side winner, you'll just you'll just be left with two H plus one. So the simplified equation would be SO two plus H two O two, and the product that you're going to have is going to be is going to be SO four. 2 minus plus 2H plus 1. Okay, that's. Shyan, mic break also on. I don't think it's your mic on. Abdullah. Space bar, use the okay, mic off. But use the space bar when you want to talk. I say, you be clear, you Clear? I says let's uh, I see even end wala kaam remember this that uh, when you make the overall equation I said you can pehle hum wo kar rahe the na we what we used to do was we would waste time that uh, main unko pehle cd karke likhta tha then I would add them up you can just ignore that step and you can just uh, add it in one go dono ke reactants dekho and just uh, just make sure that the number of electrons on both sides are on both sides are equal Uh, the reason we didn't consider the second equation was that uh, the highest potential gains electrons. So that means that this one has the greatest tendency to gain electrons, right? 
it's 1.77 ohms. And the lowest potential loses electrons. So the first one has the lowest potential. It is the one that's going to lose electrons. You've got potentials, right? You've got three things. Like think of it as electricity. So electrons would flow from in which direction? They're going to flow from the highest potential towards the lowest one. Beach may be potentials and go bypass because the electron is going to go all the way to the to the lowest one. Okay, the lowest one loses electrons. Sorry, the electrons would flow from the lowest to the highest, right? So this ki bari nahi basically. Okay, but I think of this as is this let's say there are three particles, right? Or there are three processes that are happening. This one has a voltage of 1.77 volts. This one has a voltage of uh, 0.68. And this one has a voltage of 0.17. So the electrons would flow from the lowest towards the highest, right? That's where the electron would flow. The lowest one would produce electrons. The highest one would end up gaining electrons. So, so the middle one, uh, that will just be a spectator ion. Abdullah, clear? I have one question. Okay, clear. And just name you, Shah. And also, uh, Abhi, remember this: that this is a simplified version of the original reaction. The original reaction is this one. This is the original reaction. Okay, this one over here is the simplified version of the reaction. Abhi, is that clear? Okay, when you see this, this is not all that's happening. Beach wale jo steps hai na, wo beach mein ye overall hai, hai? This is the overall. Uh, the middle steps, I mean, this was the loss of electron. This one was the one that was actually happening. And this is the gain of electrons, right? So the actual reaction is this one and this one. This one is the overall result. What is the overall result of the whole thing? Hai? Abhi, is that point clear? Mm -hmm. the other part. Um, I said the other part. So further examples. Take will do one more. I said then there's there's going to be an even more difficult uh, version of the same thing. The same stuff that you're doing. This it's going to be a slightly more difficult question. More main picker. Then take I said let's do another one. We have. Uh, so I've got, I want to figure out a reaction. What's going to happen if I have CrCl2 and that CrCl2 wants to react with the uh, acidified potassium dichromate 6, which is basically K2Cr2O7 and it's acidified. Okay, so you've got lots of things happening over here. You've got... Uh, I said, so what are your reactants? You've got Cr2 plus. I said, we've got uh, Cl minus one. I said, K2Cr2O7, you've got K plus one. You've got uh, Cr2O7, two minus. Plus, after pass, you also have uh, H plus one, right? So you got that as well. So lots of things, and we have to figure out the same thing. So I'll just uh, again do it over here. Now, Cr2 plus, I've got two equations for Cr2, Cr2 plus. Here's one, minus 0.41, and uh, there's another one, Cr2 plus. Cr2 plus is over here as well. So I'm going to mark that as well. I said, then I've got uh, Cr2072 minus, right, acidified. So there's only one equation. Plus, it's got an acid with it as well. I said, uh, we had Cl minus one as well. So there's a... Uh, with Cl minus one, I'm going to use this electrode. Uh, use the Cl minus one, this electrode, because here the Cl minus one needs to have OH minus one with it. Uh, Cl minus one plus OH minus one. I don't have OH minus one, so I'm not going to use this electrode. As I have all cons, I, I had, I think I had K plus one as well. So we're going to do K plus one. 
अच्छा सो अच्छा 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 के प्लस वन ओवर है and hopefully i didn't miss anything right these were the substances i had cr2 plus cl minus 1 uh two equations for cr2 plus cr2 was 7 1 k plus 1 right so the highest potential gains electrons who's got the highest potential out of all of them the highest is this one at the moment 1.36 we'll compare kar lo it's that that's the highest it's 1.36 uh this one is uh, minus 0.91 this one is minus 0.41 1.cc and minus 0.8c so the highest one is the one that's going to gain electrons right but i can't use that uh kyun kyunki i don't have cl2 cl2 is the one that's going to gain electrons to form cl minus 1 we don't have cl2 in our reactants theek hai in our reactants uh there was cl minus 1 but definitely not cl2 so i'm going to cross this one out as i usko nikal do this is not i mean although it is the highest but we don't have cl2 as i who's who's the highest now the highest is 1.cc now the highest is the one that's going to gain electrons and that's fine it's uh, so that means cr2 o7 2 minus 14 h plus 1 is the one that's going to gain electrons that's the highest theek hai and there's nothing wrong with that kyunki i i do have cr2 o7 2 minus as well so let me just copy this equation over here Okay, I found the highest potential. It's a uh, K equation. C R two O seven two minus uh, plus fourteen H plus one plus six electrons. Uh, and आगे जाके क्या बने? It's two C R three plus and I guess seven H two O's. And this is one point C C four. See, मैंने उधर board के ऊपर ना I've I've copied this one. ठीक है. Asha, so that's there. I said the other one. Now move on to the lowest one. Who's the lowest? Uh, the lowest at the moment is minus point nine one. So that's the lowest. The lowest is the one that's going to lose electrons. Uh, so, but I can't use that. Okay, if I use that, it's CR that's going to lose electrons. I don't have CR. मेरे रिएक्टर में था ही नहीं. The only things that I've marked these are the ones that I have in my reactant, so I can't use this. So I'm going to cross this out. I said, if I ignore that, who's the lowest now? I said the lowest was actually potassium, but I can't I can't use that as well. The lowest is the one that's going to lose electrons, and it's going to be potassium that loses electrons. I don't have potassium. Okay, so I'm going to cut that out. I said, फिर इन सारों को हटा के which one is the lowest? The lowest is uh, minus point four uh, one, I guess. And this one is fine because I do have Cr two plus. Okay, that's that's the lowest and i do have cr2 plus so it can lose electrons so i'm going to write this equation so it's cr3 plus plus one electron and in equilibrium with cr2 plus and the and this is what minus 0.41 moles theek hai clear hai saro ko ke how i figure out who's the highest and who's the lowest Clear? Yes or no, Alicia? Nasim, Shyam, is this clear? Up here, end me. Ja, can you just have to make the? I've I've written down the two reactions. Uh, let this just. I said so. I've written down the two reactions, and uh, highest one gains electrons, and the lowest one loses electrons. Okay, so that's. that's what the reaction is and i have to multiply one of the i have to make the number of electrons gain and lost equal so so in this case i have to multiply the bottom equation by 6 theek hai so it's going to be 6 wo electrons barabar hone chahiye theek hai and you can make the overall equation just one go add up the reactants so the reactants in the first one uh What is the reactant in the first one? This is the reactant in the first one, and this is the reactant in the second one. Just add add them together. So, so it's going to be Cr two O seven two minus plus point nine 
plus 14 H plus 1 plus uh, I said don't add the electrons. Do see me the second equation the reactant is 6 Cr 2 plus. I said, and what are your products uh, in the first one? In the first one, the products that are getting formed are 2 Cr C plus plus 7 H2Os. And in the second one, the product is 6 Cr C plus plus one electron. I said these two will get added up to form eight CRC plus one. I mean, these two are the same thing. So you can you can just uh, add them up. So it's basically eight. So they're forming eight CRC plus. And that's your reaction. And you can calculate the E naught cell. As so you can do that. And once you do that, uh, the E naught cell will be higher potential minus lower potential or reduction potential minus minus 0 0.41. Okay, but it's uh, 1.74. Right, that's 1.74 volts. Do you guys this clear? This one. Now we're going to move towards a more difficult question. Uh, the difficult question is, it's kind of a chain reaction. Just keep it simple. you got two things. You figure out the reactants, mark them in the equation, and you just try and figure out who's the highest and who's the lowest. Uh, the highest, the only thing you have to be careful about is, if you select anyone as the highest potential, that's the one that's going to gain electrons, then it should be your reactant that should be gaining electrons. It has to be CR207 that are some bucky highest with it, reject you with it uh, because it was CL2 that was gaining electrons. I did not have CL2. And when you select the lowest potential, it has to be your reactant that should be losing electrons. So the lowest, uh, the ones that were rejected uh, because you didn't have CR, you didn't have CR. Uh, the lowest uh, you didn't have potassium right so you rejected all of them but coming back to this um, now we're going to focus on the so now we're going to focus on chain reactions but the concept is exactly is exactly the same so chain reaction is that you're going to have a first reaction and then you're going to have a second reaction. Okay, so so it's, it's going to be there's going to be a follow up reaction as well. Uh, so for example, I have a reaction of ten plus iodine, right? And I want to figure out what happens. Right now, this is a type of a chain reaction, and let's let's say that the iodine is in excess. Which means the solution has a lot of iodine in it. Now I'm going to write down the reaction for iodine. I'm going to open the data booklet and uh, iodine. Ka, this is the reaction. It's uh, so it's got so this is the reaction. I two plus two electrons. This one has a zero point five four volts. I'm going to figure out the electrode reactions for tin now. So what tin ko jaake dhundo kahan tin? Here's I remember tin, neutral tin. So here's one. This is, if you can see over here, this is this is tin. And uh, that's the only equation for tin. The other one is for tin 4 plus and tin 2 plus. Tin, that's it. So I'm just going to copy that. Uh, this is tin 2 plus. Plus uh, two electrons. And it's an equilibrium with uh, tin. And what's the value? The value is uh, minus 0 0.14 volts, right? So this is simple. You just have you just have you just have two equations. That's it. So the higher one is the one that's going to gain electrons. This is the higher, and this one is the lower. And it should be your reactants. Uh, these are my reactants. I've got iodine and I've got tin. 
we do na it's iodine is the one that's gaining electrons and tin is the one that's losing electrons so very quickly i've been able to figure out what the reaction is because there were just two equations to deal with so higher gains lower losers add up the reactants it's uh, the first one has iodine as the reactant and the second one you've got tin as the reactant and then you've got the products uh, the products are so in the first one it's uh, 2i minus 1 in the second one it's tin 2 plus right so that's my reaction yeah the clear sir acha ab now what's going to happen after this Hey, it's just that you had ten and nineteen, right? So there was there were just two equations. There was just one equation. Pure in the whole data booklet, you just have one equation for ten, which is this one. And the whole data booklet, you just have exactly one equation for iodine as well, which is point five four. So what's happening here is uh, you just had one equation each, and the highest gains gains electrons, and the lowest loses electrons. That's it. And so the highest gains electron, the lowest loses electron. Then you make the overall equation. Abhi, is that clear? But it's simple. This is the simplest question. Okay, is this clear? Are you clear? हाँ अब मैं उस पर आ रहा हूं अच्छा नाउ द थिंग इज दैट द रिएक्शन इज नॉट गोइंग टू स्टॉप ओवर हेयर ठीक है सो आफ्टर दिस फर्स्ट रिएक्शन लेट्स रिव्यू द कॉन्टेंट्स ऑफ द बीकर व्हाट डज योर बीकर हैव सो द फर्स्ट रिएक्शन हैज हैपन सो द बीकर नाउ हैज आई माइनस वन एंड इट्स कॉट टेन टू प्लस राइट सो इट्स कॉट आई माइनस वन एंड इट्स कॉट टेन विच हैज अ चार्ज ऑफ टू प्लस राइट Plus the beaker has excess iodine, so there's there's excess iodine as well that's present. So th these are the contents of the beaker after the first reaction. So what we are going to try and figure out is, will we be having a second reaction? The pistol reaction of Bhujo. This is our starting point. This is the content of the beaker after the after the first reaction. So it's got iodine and I minus one both. So I'm going to write down those same reactions. As I said, I've got iodine plus two electrons in equilibrium with, and this is zero point. This one is zero point five four volts, right? Acha, but now I've got ten two plus. Instead of ten, I don't I don't have ten anymore. This reaction means the ten has been converted to ten two plus. So the ten is now ten two plus. So I'm going to open the data book and I'm going to try and figure out the equations for ten two plus. And I'll realize that now I've got two equations for ten two plus. Uh, there's one with ten two plus over here, and there's another one with ten two plus and ten four plus. So I'm going to write both of them. So I've got an equation for ten four plus plus two electrons in equilibrium with टेन टू प्लस और उसकी क्या वैल्यू है दैट्स पॉइंट वन फाइव एंड देन देर इज अनदर वन व्हिच इज टेन टू प्लस एंड दिस वन इज माइनस पॉइंट वन फोर अस इस नाउ देर इज अ चेन रिएक्शन देर इज अनदर रिएक्शन दैट्स गोइंग टू हैपन After the first reaction has happened, so who's the higher higher potential in this uh, in all of these? The higher is the first one, so that's the one that's going to gain electrons, right? And do you have iodine? Uh, we do have iodine, so so that's fine. There is iodine in the beaker, right? And who's the lowest in the in all of them? The lowest at the moment is uh, the bottom one. That's the one that's going to lose electrons, but uh, the thing is that I don't have ten. 
सो आई एम गोइंग टू कट दैट आउट आई आई नो लोंगर हैव 10 पहले था अब नहीं है अच्छा आउट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दीस व्हिच वन इज द लोएस्ट नाउ दिस इज दिस वन सो दैट मींस द लोएस्ट लूजेस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड डू हैव 10 टू प्लस आई डू हैव 10 टू प्लस सो दैट्स फाइन सो आई कैन मेक द ओवरऑल इक्वेशन नाउ व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी Add up the reactants. It's going to be iodine plus ten two plus, and add up the products of the two reactions. Uh, first, what your product is? That's two i minus one, and the second one you got ten uh, four plus. So you have a second reaction uh, after the first reaction has happened. The first reaction was ten got converted to ten two plus, and in the second reaction. The ten two plus then got converted to ten four plus. So once the first reaction has happened, there has been a second reaction, and the ten two plus got further oxidized. Okay, that's a chain reaction. So I'm going to just go through it. Okay. पहले वाले में कोई इश्यू नहीं था. You had ten and iodine. You mix them together. So you had one equation for ten, and you had one equation for iodine. The highest gained electron, the lowest lost electron, and you got this equation. After this first reaction has happened, you determined or figured out the content after the first reaction. You figured out that the products are now I minus one, and you got ten two plus in the beaker. Plus, since you're using excess iodine, so you've got some iodine left over, right? And then you tried and figured out, will you get another reaction? So you you opened the data booklet again. You found iodine and I minus one reaction, and you found out uh, that there were two reactions for ten two plus that. One was ten two plus in equilibrium with equilibrium with ten four plus. The other one was ten two plus getting converted to ten. Or us kind of figure out the week here, and you figure out that there was another reaction, and the ten two plus got further oxidized to ten four plus. So, is clear? Is this clear? This chain reaction. One second. Also, but this is a very simplified chain reaction. You can get very complicated chain reactions as well. Also, one thing is, uh, Baki, do a Baki class me karein ke chain reactions. One thing about chain reactions is, uh, you have to watch out for chain reactions where the substance has multiple oxidation states. You get. Ten, you know, it's got ten two plus, and then that ten two plus can get converted to ten four plus, right? So when a substance has multiple oxidation states, uh, it can have multiple steps, and it can get oxidized in stepwise. Okay, we, there's no equation where ten goes directly to ten four plus, right? Similarly, if if you do reactions for vanadium, you have to watch out for chain reactions. That vanadium could turn to vanadium two plus, then vanadium two plus can get further oxidized to vanadium three plus, then that vanadium three plus can get further oxidized to I think you uh, don't care. I think that's four plus, and then that vanadium four plus can get oxidized to what is BO two. So basically, vanadium has multiple oxidation states. That's what I'm that's what I'm trying to state. So substances that have multiple oxidation states, you have to watch out for them that uh, they can undergo further reactions. Okay. So it's like all examples of the next class we have there. But is this clear? Is this perfectly clear? This one, you clear? Alicia, clear? I see Umar. चल ठीक है फिर नेक्स्ट क्लास में इससे थोड़ा ज्यादा मुश्किल करेंगे रिमेंबर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम द क्वेश्चन इज नॉट दैट डिफिकल्ट ठीक है बट एक्चुअली इट कैन बी डिफिकल्ट इससे क्वेश्चंस एक्चुअली डिफिकल्ट है ये खास होते लेटेस्ट वाले पहले आसान होते थे लेकिन नाउ रीसेंट क्वेश्चंस आर काइंड ऑफ मोर डिफिकल्ट ठीक है तो चलो कल बात करते हैं ओके एवरीवन काफी